When halogen is attached to alkyl group, it becomes alkyl halide. And this is benzene. When hydrogen of benzene is substituted with halogen, it becomes aryl halide. Alkyl halide undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions, while benzene undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. So what do you think? How does aryl halide behave? So let's see. For example, here is primary alkyl halide. When nucleophile approaches to primary alkyl halide, it attacks to alpha carbon and expels the halogen in the form of halide ion and get attached to carbon in place of halogen. So that's how it undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction by molecular. But in case of aryl halide, when nucleophile try to approach to alpha carbon of aryl halide, it has to experience repulsion from the pi electron cloud of benzene ring. That's why it doesn't undergo nucleophilic substitution by molecular or SN2 reaction. Now come to SN1 reaction. Here I have taken secondary alkyl halide. When leaving group leaves the molecule in the first step of the reaction, carbocation is formed. This carbocation is stabilized by a plus I effect of alkyl group and by the hyperconjugation. To the stable carbocation, nucleophile get attached to and substituted product is obtained. So that's how alkyl halide undergo SN1 reaction mechanism. But when the same thing happened with aryl halide, when leaving group leaves the molecule, phenyl cation is formed. This phenyl cation is unstable because here positive charge is on the sp2 hybridized carbon and sp2 hybridized carbon is electronegative. That's why it doesn't undergo SN1 reaction either. Let's closely observe aryl halide. In aryl halide, halogen has lone pair of electron, so it donates electron density through plus M effect. So halogen will donate lone pair to the benzene ring. As a result of it, double bond is formed between carbon and halogen and positive charge is developed over halogen. Now this carbon become pentavalent. To maintain the tetravalency of carbon, double bond is moved to another carbon. So as a result of it, negative charge is developed over this carbon. Now this negative charge is moved between these two carbon and as a result of it, double bond is formed between these two carbon. Here hydrogen is already bonded. So now this carbon become pentavalent. To maintain the tetravalency, double bond is moved to next carbon and as a result of it, negative charge is developed over this carbon. Now this negative charge moved between these two carbon. And as a result of it, double bond is formed between these two carbon. Now again, next double bond is moved to another carbon. And as a result of it, negative charge is developed over this carbon. When you closely observe these resonating structure, you will see in most of the cases, carbon halogen bond is double bond. So we can say there is partial double bond character between carbon and halogen. And due to partial double bond character, this bond is shorter as compared to carbon halogen bond in case of alkyl halide. And being shorter, it becomes difficult to break. So that's why aryl halide doesn't undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions. Now compare reactivity of benzene and aryl halide. In case of aryl halide, halogen is bonded to benzene ring. And due to presence of lone pair, it donates electron density through plus M effect. And being electronegative, it also withdraws electron density from the benzene ring through minus I effect. So overall, it deactivates benzene ring by reducing electron density in the benzene ring. But still, it undergo electrophilic substitution reactions like benzene. 